Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to look at column offsetting. Column offsetting is a simple concept within Bootstrap. It allows you to move columns and elements to the right. That's essentially what it is doing. And column offsetting is used, it is done using the same numbering and screen size system as we have used to actually specify the width the width of the column so let me just go on to our web page so we've got this and on the yeah, the medium screen size each element is four 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 so imagine if I wanted this green element in the position of the blue element and I wanted the blue element in the position of the green element but on a separate line yes I could add an empty div with a column width of what the green element is at the moment in between the red and the green and do the same for the blue and the green as well and that will simulate essentially what we're trying to do but we don't want to do that one it's a lot more code than is needed it's not as efficient as using css which bootstrap has provided so to do it we get the element that we want to move to the right because we're going to leave this as it is we're moving this one to the right so we go here you can put it wherever you want within this class section do col dash screen size so md dash do, 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 offset dash four now if i save this refresh and as you can see this has moved right four grid spaces and now this is on a separate line watch what happens if i set this to two refresh this has moved to the left a little bit but this is still on a separate line the reason for that is bootstrap as we've said before has 12 grid spaces per line and we've got four plus four plus, but you still have to i mean you also have to factor in any offsets that you have so we've got four plus four plus two which is 10 12 minus 10 is two so we have a, a valuable grid spaces of two here but the next element is of size 4 therefore it's on the next line so I'm going to set this back to 4 and like I said we also want this in the center so essentially under that gap so it's going to look quite cool so to do that you just do col dash md dash offset dash 4 refresh and there you go that is one nice looking website no it ain't I'm just joking but that's how you offset columns so let's show you what happens if I resize it back to a bigger size and you might be looking and thinking oh what the hell is happening because it shouldn't look like that because we've put duh, 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 we put MD but remember as I said in a early video anything to do with columns like column dash MD column dash SM bubbles up unless it has its own offset or size for a bigger screen size so if I were to go to this start resizing it so this is medium so you, now on small the offset isn't getting applied simply because we don't have an offset applied for small and the MD offset is larger I mean medium is larger than small hence it's not being applied to it because like I said it only bubbles up it doesn't bubble down in terms of screen width so to fix this we just want to do col dash the screen sizes that we don't want to offset for dash lg dash offset dash zero that's all we got to do and this make sure there is no offset I'm going to change this to excel paste it here paste this one here Change this to Excel, save this bad boy, refresh, and now if I resize it, as you can see, on the extra large screen size, they're next to each other, and that is a size of two, so two, two, two. If I start resizing, this is large, and this is, I believe, free, so free, 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 but if I resize it down to medium the offset gets applied before resize it down to small and extra small no offset is applied because again nothing bubbles down it only bubbles up so that's offsetting columns if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php 
there'll be a link in the description to that plus there'll be another link to this source code so check that out as well if you're having any issues please rate comment and subscribe and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day